Hello and welcome to the very first episode of The Production Room. Let's jump in and we're going to talk all about the vMix Web Controller. So the last two weeks I've been on the road um, doing live events and for uh, a, one reason or another I actually ended up having to use an iPad or I ended up using my iPad to control the vMix production that we were doing. Um, to, to control switching, to control a lot of different aspects of it. It ended up working out really well um, and, and uh, through a few tweaks ended up being a super easy way to get this production done, to ha have some flexibility and also host um, a vir the virtual side and kind of MC the virtual side of this in-person event. Uh, so it just provided a lot of flexibility where I didn't have to sit down and be in front of the computer the whole time controlling the production. I could actually you know, move around the entire space, the entire room, um, because for one, for example, at CultureCon, I was the MC of this event. So I was able to be sitting down in front of the computer when somebody was on stage, but then after they got off stage, we would then bring them back towards, towards um, the back of the room and actually do a little interview with that presenter where the, the virtual audience had the chance to really uh, ask any questions that they had. Um, and I was able to then move over to a new space, uh, sit down and still control the production while I was conducting that interview on camera. Um, so it worked out really well and I wanted to run through a few little tips and tricks that I learned um, just through doing this a couple times here in the last few weeks. So first of all, let's talk about how you can actually get access to your uh, live control. Here I am in vMix, and if we go up to settings, and you're gonna notice I don't have any cameras or anything hooked up. All of this is from a diff, from already preset, um, so you're not gonna see any cameras or that, but I just want to basically show you everything. And then if you go down, so in settings, go down to web controller, you're gonna notice there is that URL. This it does need to be on the network, so you need to be have all your devices on the same network, um, but once you do that, you're able to have easy access to it. And you can control what you are seeing in um, the web controller and what people need to log into with the password, stuff like that, in order to be able to do and see in um, that web controller. So let's, th that's where you get the URL. Now let's jump over to the iPad. So that's where I uh, ran everything from. You're gonna see right here, this is the shortcuts page. This was the game changer piece. Um, I think it, for me, it's just super easy to uh, set up all these shortcuts, organize them in the vMix settings, and really run this entire production. So up at the top corner here, I actually have um, that very first one up there is, uh, is camera one, camera two. I had a third camera right there, the next, and then you have the house audio. I had our MC for this last event, their audio right there, and then camera one and two, um, with the slides would be, so the camera would be in the little box and the slides would be in the big box. Um, this black spot right there is just the slides. And you'll notice none of those have labels. That is because what it was set up to do was actually show the thumbnail. Um, that works extremely well on um, like, on a, a stream deck or something like that. It will show you exactly what your camera is seeing, you know, very, a little bit more, less resolution, a little bit delayed, but it gives you a really good idea of which what your camera's seeing, even just by looking down at uh, the Stream Deck. Here, it's static, so it doesn't necessarily change. So I might, if I was setting this completely up again, um, I'm, you might wanna just change the, the name and not use the thumbnail and just use that actual name so you know what everything is. For these events, it worked out pretty well. Um, but I really loved this page. That's how I ran most everything was specifically from this shortcut page. What you are going to want to do if we jump back over here in vMix, what you're going to want to make sure you do is just to kind of clean things up more is actually go into your shortcuts and you're going to notice that I have kind of placed everything in order of where I want it to appear here. So you can build your own order. I would turn off anything you don't necessarily need and I would adjust things so that they are fit uh, on however you want it laid out. So where they are in this is how they are going to show up on your actual uh, web controller. So the camera one is the first spot. That's gonna be where it shows up there. Now I did wanna no show you this piece. If you go in here and click edit, you're going to notice that there's a little checkbox right there to show in web controller. I would take off anything that you don't want on that controller. If you don't think you're gonna use it, 
as a shortcut, get rid of it, keep it nice and clean. That's gonna make your life easier by having a very clean web controller interface. Now, a couple other pieces of the web controller that I find useful is, and so like I said, I ran basically everything from this exact shortcuts page, but if we tap that next tab right there, you're gonna notice you have full control over all the elements. So if you want an overlay to happen, you just, let's say you want N5 output to be an overlay, you on overlay four, you just tap that, and then it's gonna be an overlay on four. Um, if you want to jump in and have, say, your title, and that's what each of these are a little bit different um, and sometimes hard to see this. So I didn't use this page a lot, but once you kind of figure it out, um, it does work all right. So anything with a T, that's a title. So title number nine, I can throw that as overlay four, or, and then anything with a V is a video input. So I could go eight, and that's gonna jump to that video. Uh, these are specifically just outputs that I have. And you're gonna notice you can have it out, go straight to output or go to preview. So you can kind of jump around where you want things to be. Let's take off this. Um, N is for NDI. A, that is audio sources. So that's, and, you, and anyone that you see here is like say 10. That is basically an input that I kind of built. Um, so that's what those are in case you're not, weren't sure what those were. Um, they're blank inputs, so they have generally multiple different layers on them, any of those type of inputs. Uh, so like our title card here, uh, that would be, you see that's 25, it's output 25, which is a combination of multiple things. So that's why it doesn't have a N, T, or V, or anything like that in front of it. So that's that panel. Now this tab here, um, you can see these are all the different inputs. These, I believe, are for tally lights. Um, I actually haven't used this one. I haven't looked into this one a lot, so I don't 100% know all about it. Um, I've just avoided that. But the T, this one has been helpful for me. That is for your titles. So you're gonna notice these are the different title graphics that I have, different things. So I can tap, say, this one, and I can update the title graphic. This is a lower third graphic. So if I wanna, and these ones are already made. So if I wanna, say, switch it and make that active title, that one right there, where it is questions, leave them in a chat, I can go that, I can update it, um, you can adjust it, update it, you can add it to a preset, uh, stuff like that. And so it's great, it's a great way to change your titles on the fly. You're also able to do and change some of the um, time left, so I can switch that, because that's for a, a countdown timer, and then here's the actual timer, so I can adjust the amount of time on that specific timer. Uh, but that right there is kind of the basic elements of the vMix web controller. It's how I was using it in the live stream. It just gave me freedom to not have to sit down the entire time for the one event, um, to be able to move around, to be able to uh, just a little more freedom where you're not tied directly to the computer. And it was super helpful in my CultureCon event that I just had because yeah, it allowed me to do interviews with guests and walk away from the desk and just still be able to control and switch everything on the fly while having that interview with that guest and just made for smooth transitions for that virtual audience. Highly recommend you check out using the vMix web controller if you're a vMix user and incorporating that into a future live stream. That's all I got for you today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button uh, so you don't miss a single episode where the production room goes live every single Sunday at 10 a.m. Uh, and leave any questions you have, any topics you wanna, want me to talk about, leave it in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one.